Hey Data, it is time to do your song. New 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 yeah everyone new 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 so, uh, we got a couple of noobs. We have an exciting week. Next week will be even more noobs. We have a couple of goodies. What's new? First up, we have MPSA 2907A. This is kind of basically a PN 2907A PNP transistor. We've had for a very, 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 very long time NPN transistors. And some people said, hey, you know, if you have NPNs, you should have PNPs. And I'm like, yeah, you're right. So these are PNP transistors. They're kind of high side transistors, as they're usually used as. Um, they are handy if you need a generic PNP transistor. We sold them in a pack of 10, two bucks, pretty good deal, very useful. Uh, we have them in some of our packs, but if you need them for a project, we have them in the store now. Okay, we have a book. We have a book, but not just any book. And I'll, I, I gotta make it super clear that this book, the title is, I wish it was a little longer because it's called Make Making Things Smart. But what's really cool about this book is it's actually about, it's a maker book using Esperino, which is JavaScript for microcontrollers. And as people know, uh, I'm a big fan of MicroPython and CircuitPython microcontrollers, but Esperino is also really cool because I really love this whole interpreter on microcontroller thing. I think it's a cool thing. It's a cool trend. And this book is by Gordon Williams, who is the, the lead of the Esperino project. And um, it is about how to make stuff and programming, but what's really cool is you get to do it all in JavaScript with Esperino board. So, um, check it out. It's got a lot of really good projects in it. Uh, you know, it does kind of need Esperino, but we sh uh, stuck those in the shop. We have the Esperino Pico. It's not too expensive. Uh, and you can do a lot of things and it'll kind of teach you JavaScript and making. A lot of people already know JavaScript because they, you know, took it in school or maybe they work on web pages or just because it's one of the most popular programming languages. Uh, this is a good way to take that knowledge and make hardware with it. Okay. Next up, last but not least. This week is mini Bluetooth keyboard. So this is something that you picked up. Yeah. Uh, this is your suggestion. So we got these as part of a, like a teleprompter kit that you made, and it was really there, really handy. There, it's there's more to the story too. It's a very very small Bluetooth keyboard. We have a yeah. wireless keyboard, but it's not Bluetooth. What's nice about this oh, one? Hit it on the overhead. There, yeah, put it on the overhead. So it's what's nice about it is it's rechargeable. It's really really teeny, but it's actually quite usable. The buttons are like clicky enough. And it's really good to pair with like a Raspberry Pi, Pi 3, Pi, Pi Zero. Um, they have uh, uh, Bluetooth Low Energy built in and Bluetooth Classic built in. This is Bluetooth Classic, but almost everything that has uh, Bluetooth, uh, Bluetooth or Bluetooth Low Energy will work with these. We used it with Android, with an iPad, with an iPhone. Um, Raspberry Pi, all that good stuff. It's just, it's just really handy yeah. because you don't need a dongle on the other side. And like, yeah, if you have a Pi Zero W especially, you don't need to plug anything in. This just mm -hmm. pairs and works. Here's the... the What's your side of the story? This is my side of the story. So... Here's I, how it really happened. I have five years of Bluetooth keyboard mistakes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I have boxes of Bluetooth keyboards and I needed something that would work specifically with an iPad because when we do some of our videos, we have to make sure that we have the notes and we have a, a teleprompter that goes through, so it needs to work with that. It needs to work with Raspberry Pi, it needs to work with a phone, it needs to work with all the stuff. It needs to be small, it needs to be rechargeable. So all it is is just like buying mistakes. Something's like, oh, half of it's okay, and maybe one day there'll be another feature, but I have to live in this current time. So this is the only one that I thought was good enough for us to stock in the store. And it paired with everything. Yeah. <laughs> it like actually worked. Yeah. Like you know, you have to type in the little key thing, but it, it's, it just, despite how small it is, it's really usable. Like, it, it wasn't too bad to use, but it's really, yeah. really tiny. So I think it's it's a good okay. it's a good find. And like, well, you you bought one. It was like super expensive on Amazon. And we got these yeah. same thing, but like yeah. a quarter Because price. not only do I have to buy something, if it even works out, I have to buy two. Because we're doing so many live videos and stuff, you can't really be in the middle of something and like, well, I guess I'll wait for my prime shipping to kick in. I'll get it. So I just buy two of everything. Yeah. That's why I have two picking places. Okay. So, Did you mention uh, it has nice rubbery keys? It has nice really kind of it, a nice feel. It yeah. does. It, it's like trust me. I have a box of like I also have a box of like Bluetooth mistakes. This one is not a Bluetooth mistake. This one actually works quite yeah. well. Yeah. Okay. Well, with that, Lady Ada, is guess what? New parts are over. Good work. New, new.